So with our beaches making headlines ahead of the unofficial kickoff to summer, it's no doubt that they will definitely be crowded, especially this weekend. So Brightside's Jabari Thomas takes us beyond the headline, beyond Pinellas County, to check out what other beaches you can visit. Treasure Island, Clearwater, St. Pete Beach, all so beautiful, right? But boy, do they get crowded. All right, it's time to look beyond Pinellas County. We're headed south to Sarasota, and I don't mean Siesta Key, even though that beach is awesome. It's gonna be just as crowded. Check out Minnesota Beach Park. It's open at six and it closes at midnight. That's plenty of time for you guys to enjoy the golf and watch the beautiful sunset. There's a boat ramp, kayak launch, and even lifeguards available. It's only about an hour away from downtown St. Pete. 20 extra minutes if you're headed from Tampa. The beach at Brohard Paul Park in Venice is perfect for dog lovers. But you might need to get there early. Parking can be a little bit tight. And we know parking can be a whole other story. So Fred Howard Park in Tarpon Springs or Sand Key Park in Clearwater. They have a good amount of spots there. You'll also want to check out Manatee County, perhaps. Anna Marie Bayfront Park, Coquina Beach, Manatee Beach Park, and Palmasola Causeway Park. They all have restrooms, and you know that's always a plus. But if the crowds don't bother you at all, and you want the best beaches in Tampa Bay, hey, you've got your options. Dr. Beach in the past has called Caladesi Island the best choice. And TripAdvisor this year says that St. Pete Beach is number one knocking former champion Clearwater completely off the tin list.